Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up two factor authentication in the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. So let's get started. So, uh, one of my subscribers asked me uh, to uh, elaborate on some of my uh, videos where I showed you how to set up the Electrum Bitcoin wallet, and I'll refer you to that. And uh, so there are many, many advanced features in the, in the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. They can be a little bit uh, complicated, a little daunting, but uh, not so bad. So I'm going to walk you through that. Uh, my user's name is uh, Barman2. And I'd like to thank him uh, not only for watching my videos, but for uh, asking this question. Uh, questions and comments always inspire me to create new videos. Uh, so here we are. Uh, CD that's uh, short for crypto dad will you please do a part two on Electrum how about setting up uh, two-factor authentication and key file security access so we're gonna go with the uh, two-factor authentication today alrighty so we're gonna open up our Bitcoin uh, our, I'm sorry our Electrum Bitcoin wallet and I'm gonna start on the yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start on my standard wallet default wallet yeah. okay so we want to set up a wallet that has two-factor authentication so we're gonna go uh, file new and let's call this one uh, two-factor authentication whoops sorry two-factor authentication test we want to make this meaningful there all right so we don't forget okay and so at this screen we're going to choose wallet with two-factor authentication okay now uh, they're going to uh, give you the spiel about trusted coin they're a third party uh, they're gonna one of the private keys will be stored with them and uh, once this thing is up and running uh, I believe when you uh, uh, do a transaction with two-factor authentication they're gonna take a little piece of the Bitcoin transaction so uh, I, I ran through this earlier on my own and the, they didn't ask me to give them a credit card or anything so my assumption is is that they're just gonna take a piece of the transaction uh, whenever it gets authenticated so uh, let's uh, hit next here uh, we're gonna create a new seed now I already have a seed would be we're gonna add two-factor authentication to an existing wallet but in this case we're setting up a brand new wallet so we're gonna hit that okay it's uh, created this seed here I'm going to uh, copy this seed and I'm going to uh, go over here to my software folder into my Electrum folder and we're going to create a new oops, text block and we're going to call this uh, crypto dad uh, two factor authentication test seed uh, doesn't look right. Let's see. Seed. All right. That way, I know this is the seed to that particular wallet that we're dealing with. Okay. And there is our seed. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move to the next step. Where it wants us to retype that seed. I'm not going to do that. I am just going to copy and paste that seed. You can't copy and paste from the uh, first window of the uh, wallet. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, you have to copy and paste it from another application so that it works. Because they want you to type it, which I can understand that. Okay. And mind you, I'm exposing this to everybody, so I'm not going to leave any Bitcoins in this wallet. Uh, let's create a password. I know there's some confusion sometimes when people see these screens they think that it's asking you for a password no it is asking you to create a password so don't panic if you say oh my god where's my password I don't know where my password is they're asking you to create it 
Okay, so now here we go. It's telling us where the wallet file is going to be stored in uh, the uh, roaming, uh, the app data roaming folder of your uh, computer. We're going to click next. Okay, you're going to have to agree to all this stuff here. And I think what I wanted to do was, yeah, I'm going to go over here. We're going to switch accounts. Oops. Let's see here. We'll go to Gmail. I'm going to switch over to one of my test email accounts. I believe that's Crypto Dad Test 3. And I'm going to put that in as my email for this. that okay now here's the tricky part so if you've never used uh, Google Authenticator I'm gonna leave some links down below on how you uh, download and set that up you can get it on the App Store I'm going to stop this please I'm going to stop that get rid of it okay Boy, it just refuses to go away, doesn't it? Okay. All right, so we're going to use uh, Mirage X to uh, capture the screen of my phone so that I can show you how this works. Okay. That's good. Okay, so everybody can see that. Okay, so uh, Google Authenticator is this guy right here. All right. If you don't have Google Authenticator, uh, I've got a link down below, but uh, the long and short of it is you can go over here to the App Store and just type in, whoops, Google, A, and it will uh, auto-complete there for you. And uh, here, see the Google Authenticator utilities, and it's got that, uh, you know, that, that uh, stylized G with like a, a lock or bolts around it whatever that's the uh, icon you're looking for and you're gonna wanna you know download that guy alright so uh, once you get the Google Authenticator uh, app installed on your phone uh, you just tap open that guy up and as you can see I have uh, several accounts in here that have Google Authenticator codes uh, these codes uh, are visible for about 10 to 15 seconds and then they uh, disappear and they change. That's the security of the Google Authenticator. So we want to add a new account by hitting this uh, plus up here. And then we're going to say scan barcode down below. If you can see that down there. Hit scan barcode. And I'm going to move this guy out of the way. And I'm going to scan this barcode. You see how that worked? Okay. Now down here at the bottom I've got a trusted coin account boy they don't even I did it earlier and uh, huh, they don't uh, make any distinction between what's what I don't know maybe you could uh, we'll not go into that right now alright so here's my code 8 what's it's expiring so let's wait I talked too long okay so we're at 300131 and we click next and now we've uh, just linked that uh, account uh, and activated that uh, authentication and there we go all right now I'm going to uh, get rid well no I'll keep the phone going because it's probably going to ask us now the tricky part of the video is I don't know if this is gonna work or not but I'm gonna try uh, I want to receive So I'm going to go, I have some uh, spare Bitcoins in my Poloniex, uh, Poloniex account. Yeah, some Bitcoin in there. Uh, whoops, BTC. Just some spare Bitcoin I had laying around. No, that's not what I want. Uh, let's see, deposits and withdrawals. Ah, here we go. Okay. BTC Bitcoin. You can see there's a little bit of Bitcoin here. I'm going to withdraw that. All right. And what is the address I want to give it? I'm going to give it the address of this uh, 
crypto dad test two-factor authentication so we're just gonna whoops I knew that was gonna happen eventually but that's okay uh, okay so we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it over here Come on now. whoops I don't know I didn't quite like the way that worked let's try again I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. Uh, I don't know why it's doing it that way from the left, but uh, or from the right, but that's okay. It looks like the right address. And what is the... Um, okay, so it says up here I have 0 0.003 Bitcoin. And let's do six yeah that'll let me it'll let me do that there's a transaction fee so we're gonna click withdraw okay so now it's gonna send me an email to what I better I think it's my G my regular Gmail account so I'm gonna go do that all of this security gang yeah there it is so we want to do this confirmation on the in the same browser uh, just in case things get crazy uh, on the same computer it came to my phone as well but I'm just gonna yes okay so yes I do want to withdraw this Bitcoin and put it into this wallet okay all right so I uh, swept out uh, a little bit of Bitcoin from that wallet. And let's see here. We might have to wait a while for this. Hopefully I got the entire... <laughs> I always worry that I didn't get the entire... Uh, you know, I already closed Poloniex, didn't I? That I didn't get the entire uh, address, but I did use the copy to clipboard. Oops. Well, it might take a while for this to happen. Actually, it usually happens right away. So I may have messed this one up. Hmm. Well, sometimes these things take a while, depending on the situation. Let's go back to Poloniex, just to be on the safe side. Ah, here we are. Uh, okay. So there is, uh, what is this? Oh, it's this pending. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So it, because it's pending on their website, it actually hasn't gone out from their website. So uh, it might take a while for the bitcoins to get into the wallet. Uh, but basically, the reason that I wanted to do this was so that I could show you uh, how we, when we transfer. The Bitcoin out it's going to ask me uh, for my password and it's going to ask me to enter the code that gets generated in the uh, Google Authenticator app so in order to send bitcoins to a different wallet out of this one uh, we're gonna have to tap uh, send uh, put in the uh, address that we're sending to and then uh, click send it'll ask for the password and then that second step that uh, that authentication step will say uh, enter the Google Authenticator code that gets generated uh, by your uh, Google Authenticator app for the uh, true what was the name of these guys let's go back uh, trustedcoin.com account okay I wanted to kind of show you that uh, live but uh, the uh, things have slowed down so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and I'll leave that as an exercise to you uh, it will it, it'll force you to do it so uh, you can't go wrong uh, once you get some Bitcoin into your two-factor authentication wallet uh, and you try to send it send Bitcoin you can transfer money in with no problem it's not going to ask you uh, for your authentication code for that money will come in easily enough but when you try to send money out that's when the authentication step will come into play okay 
So I hope this was helpful, guys. Uh, I hope things work out for you. Uh, and uh, one more thing I'd like to mention with this wallet is that uh, let's say you've lost your phone or and you can't authenticate it anymore, you can still restore from seed to get the, the raw Bitcoin wallet back uh, without two-factor authentication. So uh, that's your fail-safe in case uh, this whole process breaks down for some reason. So uh, once again, thanks for joining me. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank um, my good friend. Well, I, I've lost his name here. I will find it quickly. And I will thank him. Barnuman 2 and uh, thanks again for the uh, request and uh, thanks for watching this video give me a thumbs up if you like it and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos you'll be alerted whenever I post a new one thanks again